Hello, my name's Tom and today I'm on the wonderful island of Jersey, as you can see in the background. I'm here to hopefully show you some of the remnants of World War II, where this island was under Nazi occupation. Still today, many artefacts can be seen dating back to the war, and I'm going to show you later on some underground war tunnels and some Nazi-built beach defences. So, let's go. So here we are at the Lotheringen gun battery. This whole site was covered up after the war and it wasn't until 1997 where the whole site was excavated and opened up to tourists. During the war, this particular gun, the number one, was used by the Nazis for defence. Underneath this gun is the ammunition chamber, where 400 rounds are stored. Each of these rounds was 44 kilograms, so as you can guess, this gun packed quite a punch. What we have here behind me is a German range-finding tower. Now the idea of these is that a measurement would be taken against the target ship, a distance measurement and a direction measurement. And with several of these measurements from several different towers, then the exact position of the target was known. And this was then sent across to the guns in order to determine the distance to fire. This particular tower took 5,000 bags of cement to build and as you can see it's a pretty impressive height. Behind me here is the Corbier Lighthouse. Now this lighthouse is only accessible in low tide by a very narrow pathway which in high tide is soon covered up. The main purpose of the lighthouse in the past was to warn ships of some rocks which are very very shallow beneath the surface which the ships can't see. The many shipwrecks along this coastline are testament to how dangerous these rocks are and how important the role of the lighthouse was. Everybody on the floor, well, after the 